today's video, I want to take you guys through a brand new PlayStation 4 RPG that looks absolutely sick, very dark in presentation, and it looks different than a lot of the other RPGs we've seen this generation, so I wanted to give that some shine because other side, or author side, I don't even know how to say it, really not clarified as far as that goes, however, the game itself looks really great, and I feel like it deserves a little bit more attention as we got a lot of info revealed today, and we'll go over all about that. Also, Tokyo Game Show 2020 has gotten its first details. It'll feature next generation consoles and new cloud gaming area. So I'll go over all of the details on that. First up, let's talk all about author side, other side, whatever the case may be. This looks like a really cool tactical RPG done by Lightbulb Crew and the publisher is Focus Home Interactive. And Focus Home has been putting out a lot of interesting games, a lot of hits as well. Focus Home has been doing a rather good job. I believe they published Greedfall, The Surge 2, A Plague Tale Innocent. So when you look at 2019, they had a pretty packed 2019. They had a couple of other uh, published games in 2019 as well, but they've been rather busy, and Other Side looks to be a very interesting title. Very dark in presentation. If we want to talk about RPGs that looked a little bit somber, a little bit bleak, Other Side definitely has that ambiance going on for it. I'm not saying it's bleak in terms of its development or anything like that. That's obviously the style of presentation that they're going for, and I think from that standpoint, it's a rather compelling game. Immediately, I am drawn to this game because had this game had a very typical art style. I don't think I would have been as captivated by it, but just from a presentation standpoint, just because of what it's employing and just because it's so different than everything else on the market, I am immediately hooked by this game. A little bit like a strategy RPG combined with the presentation and darkness of a Bloodborne or a Souls title, maybe even darker than that, and I do want to go over the details about the game. It notes, as humanity's last hope, lead your army to combat in an intricate dance of spectacular action encounters using an original dynamic timeline system and face fearsome bosses in epic battles. Benjamin Jacobs of Eurogamer noted other side when XCOM meets Dark Souls. PC Gamer noted it's definitely interesting enough to have me curious and a game called, uh, called a strategic combat game like no other. And it notes descend into humanity's last hope the daughter's echoes of the greatest warrior to ever live are all who stand before suffering and death. Lead your army of daughters to battle with all the skill you can muster your prowess and combat will decide their fate, shape their abilities and personality. Make the toughest decisions and sacrifice one to heal another. Survivors will get stronger, ready to fight the next battle. So a lot of decision making in terms of making sacrifices, that's probably going to be a little bit dark and that's going to be an unfortunate reality that you're going to have to face in this game. Combat is an intricate dance of spectacular actions and counters. Plan ahead of time and set up impressive chains of abilities to outsmart the enemy. Fight in epic boss battles against the sources of suffering, dead creatures uh, pulled from the worst of humanity's crimes against itself. You will fight, you will fall, you will rise again. So that statement definitely is going to immediately hearken people back to a game like Souls, where there is a lot of dying involved, a lot of challenge involved, and I do think Author Side is going to have that in spades. Feature-wise, it also notes, lead, evolve, and sacrifice your army of daughters, outsmart nightmarish creatures, and spectacular tactical RPG, endless combat possibilities with a dynamic timeline system, a deep and complex narrative stretching back eons. So it does look like this game has a significant focus on its narrative as well. I think some people are immediately going to be a little bit weary about this game, but I think Again, from my standpoint, just based on its unique ambiance and presentation, I am immediately drawn into this game, and I'm hoping for something compelling out of this one. Again, Focus Home has been rather consistent out of their outings and out of their published games, and this might be another one to add to uh, add to their library. And there's a lot of other game features, experience dynamic turn-based combat, and a new way to anticipate enemy movements to perform a flawless tactical plan. Use the dynamic timeline system and unique set of skills, and with that, you'll be able to interrupt an enemy attack, plan a delay action that will be triggered later on in the timeline. Use reaction skill to respond to any threat. So it seems like as far as the gameplay and the combat goes, a lot of layers in what you can do. Prepare to suffer and face close calls in our terrifying and ruthless universe with roguelite features, deadly missions, limited resources, and permanent death. There is no room for errors. Level up, unlock new skills, and collect memories from the death of your enemies. A limited number of these bonuses can be implemented to your skills to boost their stats, but choose wisely as once implemented, you can't take them back 
unless you decide to sacrifice your daughter. Make dramatic choice and endure with your daughter's traumatic experiences, which will make them stronger or weaker. Other side invites you in an ethereal, monochromatic dimension with only dashes of crimson red where your worst nightmares come to life. I think this is going to be a game that's going to be a rather mental train wreck, if you guys know what I'm saying, just because I feel like there's going to be an emotional narrative here. But that's a lot of speculation from my standpoint, just based on what I'm ascertaining, based on seeing the trailer and based on seeing a lot of the artwork. The artwork looks rather trippy as well. I think some people are going to be a little bit off put by it, but again, just on the basis of it being so unique, I am immediately captivated by it. And when it does release sometime in 2020, I'm definitely interested in checking it out. And again, Focus Home has been rather consistent with a lot of their outings. Surge 2 was pretty good. Plague Tale Innocence, I went as far as to say, one of the most underrated uh, games of 2019. And Greedfall, a rather good RPG as well. Obviously, different development studios worked on all three of those games, but I think Focus Home Interactive has developed a keen eye for what games are going to turn out rather well and what studios have a lot of talent. And I hope this is another case of that being employed. All right, moving on from that, Tokyo Game Show 2020 gets first details. It'll be featuring next-gen consoles and a new cloud gaming arena. The theme of Tokyo Game Show is future touches gaming first with the promise to feature next-generation consoles and new technologies like 5G and cloud gaming. Quote, the theme of TGS 2020 is the future touches gaming first. Games are the most updated and accessible means to experience the emerging technologies that will unlock new possibilities for the future. With the theme of this year, the event expects to provide an opportunity for people to touch and play the latest games and immerse themselves in the feel of an exciting future that is just around the corner. Featuring novel game consoles for the next generation, TGS 2020 is sure to attract even more attention from around the world. The event will focus on the full-fledged launch of cloud gaming and its advanced gaming environments, such as the start of 5G services for commercial use and will boost the unprecedented gaming experiences brought by new platforms. Moreover, TGS 2020 will host the area where visitors can explore new frontiers of games through crossing over with education, fashion, arts, and other industries. TGS 2020 will team up with various popular influencers from Japan and overseas to create buzz prior to the event, not only for visitors, but also for game fans who cannot be at the venue on the event days. Through tie-ups with domestic and overseas media partners and multiple video game platforms, the latest news on the event will be released in Japanese, English, and Chinese to reach the growing number of online viewers on a global scale. In the esports field, which is attracting increasing attention also from outside of the gaming industry, this year's event plans to hold various championships at the Giant Esports X stage. Details to be announced this April. In addition to upgraded online streaming services, TGS will also offer the unique way to enjoy esports for visitors. They also uh, reported some sort of mission statement as detailed by Twinfinite to match the theme. Quote, we believe that ahead of all else, gaming is what has brought ever-evolving technology to our everyday lives. This has reimagined unchained. This has remained unchanged, I should say, throughout the generations. Even if intellectually we understand the latest technologies we hear about on the news, they still seem like innovations from the distant future. But this is far from true. Tokyo Game Show 2020 aspires to be a place where all people can experience the excitement and potential of cutting-edge technology through gaming. Step into a perfectly synced world where all people transcend space and time and discover the potential of games that rise above convention to change the future in various fields. The evolution of technology and the power of gaming are realizing an increasingly exciting experience. Come experience it for yourself here at Tokyo Game Show 2020. Don't miss TGS 2020, the festival of games gathering much attention from all over the world. And also, they detailed the cloud gaming area, obviously, as cloud gaming becomes more and more of a focus. They noted this area exhibits various game streaming services, their peripheral devices, and infrastructure for providing these services. And there's also another new area in the Game X Fashion area. This specialized area exhibits for apparel goods that collaborates with video game contents. The rest of the areas are similar to what we saw in past years. You'll be able to go to the general exhibition area, the smartphone game area, the game school area, the indie game area, the esports area, and much more. Tokyo Game Show should be happening sometime in late August. Actually, it's a late September from September 24th and, uh, until September 27th. So that is going to be right before the release of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, you would think. And I would imagine that the PlayStation 5 would have a big presence at TGS, especially because with E3 not being as big of a deal, with a lot of the other events like Sony skipping out on packs due to everything that's going on, TGS offers them an opportunity to unveil a lot of games. Not necessarily a lot of big Western games, 
games. I doubt you're gonna see big information drops on like Sony Man, uh, uh, Sony Santa Monica's next game, God of War 2, or whatever the case may be. Naughty Dog titles. However, Sony obviously has a focus on a lot of Japanese games. There are studios like Level 5 that are probably creating big budget PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 titles, and those we can very likely see at Tokyo Game Show. The last few Tokyo Game Shows have been really good. I'm personally super into Japanese titles, so maybe I'll have a skewed perspective on that, but if you're into games like Final Fantasy VII Remake, if you're into games like Tales of Arise, it doesn't matter that they're Japanese titles. They're great games in their own right. Maybe their presentation nuances are, isn't something you're completely familiar with, but a lot of the Japanese titles are absolutely tremendous. Look at the games Capcom has been putting out. Resident Evil 2, Devil May Cry 5, Monster Hunter World. Did you not realize that that was a Japanese game as well? A lot of quality games I highly expect to be announced and showcased at Tokyo Game Show 2020, and even more so exciting that the PlayStation 5 will have a significant presence there with all of the focus on next-gen consoles. That's gonna conclude this video. Again, other side looks like an awesome RPG for the PlayStation 4, very dark in presentation, and Tokyo Game Show this year is shaping up to be a big event. I think E3, a lot of people are looking at that to be a little bit of a dull, but Tokyo Game Show has been rather good the last few years, and I'm thinking 2020 is gonna be even better with next-gen consoles. That's gonna wrap up this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.